Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you another beautiful face mat, but to do this we need a lot of attention right here for the beautiful one, but a lot of measurement. But it's worth it, everyone. You see the light underneath here, you know what happened? I I did the measurement and everything. When I look at the camera, I didn't record it. So, alright, I can use the other side now. So I have a paper here that is 6 inch and 3 and 4 by 11 3 4. So almost 7 inch, almost 12. So I'm going to keep the full side right on my left. Now we're going to do one at a time, everyone. If you don't get the uh, the measurement, you rewind the video and write that down. And you watch the video first, everyone, always. And then when you when you um, get everything, then you can go back and, and watch and, um, and do that again. So now, on the full side right here, down two inch and a quarter. Right here, two inch and a quarter. So from on the top here, I like you to bring it in two inch. So two inches right here. Now you connect the two inch and a quarter to the two inch. Just like that. When I do, I'm going to finish one thing and then we'll move on to the next one so you don't confuse. Now you're going to con hold this two in and a quarter with two in like this. Right in the middle. You pinch right there. Now it from there, you're going to bring up half an inch. So half an inch right there. Now you go on to get the ruler. You can get this ruler from the uh, Dollar Tree, everybody. They have every, not everything, but they have most of the thing that you can get more money, buy more money from somewhere else. So connect it like that, like, like that. So now from on this side right here, I'm going to bring down two in and a quarter. So two in and a quarter. like that i'm going to connect the two in on this side on the top to two in in the quarter just like that from two ends in a quarter i'm going to bring it down half an inch so half an inch from two in this the quarter two in and a quarter I'm going to bring it down one and half inch just like that everyone from the bottom one right here I'm going to bring it up one inch and half From the one inch and half, I'm going to bring it up half an inch. Inner pedic. So from a one inch and half right here, you're going to bring out three inch and half. Just like that. And then from the three inch and half here, you go on to connect to half an inch here. Now you have something like this. So now you go on to this side right here on the bottom here. From the fold, you go on to bring it in one inch. 
from the one inch you're going to bring it up one inch and a quarter just like that now from this from this one inch you're going to connect with the one inch in half right there Just like that. From this pointy right here, you go on to measure, you go on to just look at the ruler here. As long as it's showing from one inch and a quarter in the point up here, then you mark the lie down. Like that. So you have something like this. On the top here, right here, you go on to measure down one inch and a half. So one and a half inches right here. From one and a half inch, you're going to bring out three inch, three and four, uh, three four of an inch. That's it. No more measurement. Now you're going to connect the curve. So I'm going to connect this. I'm going to make a curve like that. And then this one right here, I'm going to draw the line. Just like this, everyone. Okay, so now I'm going to cut the template out, everybody. The reason why I don't upload the um, template because it's so I go very slow and everybody can do it. And please understand that. I try my best and uh, to spare some time here. So for this, for this um, face mat, I'm going to use two different colors, the front and the back. Because I'm going to use one of my favorite fabric, Japanese fabric for the fun and the other one for the back so now this is the template this is going to look like this okay so we need two of this everyone so i'm going to show you the um i got the the other day a comment say that how you place the fabric that it's not um upside down inside out uh, the print is all different okay so when you want to make sure if the print is right on the right side of the face mat or not after you finish any template you go on to face it like this because this is how your face mat gonna be just position this is what you're wearing so if you do doing like this that doesn't look so good you have to go this way because the width it this one is easy because it go up and down, up and down, but you still have to pay attention for it to go up and down and up and down. You don't want to hang it like this. Who hang the wig like this, right? So you have to position like this. Always open your template and face in like this. This is your face. Remember, this is your face. So you have to make sure the print is facing you. And that's it. So now I know this is what I'm going to do. Um, this is my face going to be like this. So I'm going to fold the fabric this way. So I can cut. So I'm going to, I only need one for the fun side. And the back side, I'm going to use the different color. So go ahead and, and uh, place and get, get the fold here and place the fold on the fold and then you cut out two of them, okay? Okay, so everyone, after I cut the two, this is the main one that it's going to face in the front and this is the back one. So when I open this, I show you, let's look like this. You see how the, the picture coming down? Do exactly like that for all the template that you do, then you have no problem. So now you can see this thing like this, right? So I need you to do, see this? Sew it together, sew together. This one right here, you're going to sew together. 
you're going to sew together a pair two sew together same thing to this one exact the same okay everyone so go ahead and sew I'm going to the long one, the ear side here, you're going to do the exact the same. I'm not trying to mean anything, but it is really simple when I um, share with you the templates, how you make the templates. And um, and from there, you can just make a bigger size. Or small as I, everybody. And I don't sell anything on this channel. If you want to see what I use or what I, you know, like the fabric, the material, I list on my description. You can go in there and check and see if you like to buy it. If it's the link and everything, you can just follow that and buy your material other than that i don't sell face mat or i don't sell templates So continue to sew. So I'm, I did the curl side and the ear and then I go to the other side here with the ear side. And then I go to this two, most two small thing right here. Two small thing right here and then do the other one too. Okay, so everyone after I sew on this line, this on the ear side, on the nose here and the other ear side, both of them. So now I'm going to put it together. Before you put it together, make sure you press the line and you iron it. I'm going to ask the no piece for this. Remember the one with the two? It's facing the one with the two, so lie right here. And it's going like this. I'm going to go to cut the, the fabric for the uh, no piece can use the, the foil to save money everyone this is not something that you wear permanently someday we'll get rid of them so we don't want to invest a lot of money for this so go ahead and fold this two side a quarter up and in this I cut about three and in three and a half inch and then I fold in a quarter up an inch for the two end and then you go on to fold it in the middle the fold in the middle just want to make sure that it's going to stay in the middle of here so you're going to face this up remember this fold stay up face to you so when you put this the main one with the uh, right side out the next one will be the nobre pocket and then the inside out of the other side of the face mask. Now you need to sew it in. Now you're going to start from the ear side about an inch and a half. Start from here. Go all away. All around. Close this area. Go all around and stop right here. So that's easier. Now you're going, I'm going to inside out the face mask. So place your finger right in this hole and try to pull everything out. Thank you. 
so beautiful very roomy look at this look how big that is okay so now you press the side that you sew press it out or around the sew line different way like that Just pull it out and sew and press all around and then after that you go on to use the iron and iron this line down when you use the iron you go on to pull on this way flat it down press on the top the, the reason why i asked you to pull this and then press the line like this just because you want to take all the fabric that that when you sew from the other side and it's stuck it in so that's why you'd have to take it out and then pull the side like this all around just take your time and do that and right after that we're going to iron and then we're going to sew the the no bits on and that's it that's the filter pocket right here i told you the same old thing you pull this and then you pull really hard so the line will fold it in for you and then you iron it don't pull too hard that you have to break the face mat not like that love this iron the best iron look at this face mat everyone so on this filter pocket you're going to fold it in half press the line and then you're going to fold it in and you, now you're going to sew it in you're going to use the iron this the iron is in i'm going to sew the few uh the nobred pocket in here everyone i just want to tell you that when i do the uh, face map and when I say that the filter pocket and you place the filter in there, there's no need for me to show you how to place the filter because it's so simple. Just open the pocket, place the filter in there. That is so simple. That's why I didn't show Vivo how to do that. The, the one that I pay more attention to when the measurement for the template and how to put things together. so beautiful on everyone so now with the ear loop i'm going to cut um if this is so close to the ear so i'm only cut the um, the long piece of elastic that 15 16 inch i'm gonna go right behind the ear this is 12 and four more so 16 inches so this one is go behind the head. You're going to close this like this. Just fold it in about half an inch. And you're going to sew it in. Super awesome face map.
So you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And that's it. We're done with the face mat. Super easy. Not much to do. I'm going to place the elastic in here. I'm going to get the hook and we're going to pull it to one side. And to here. You're going to take about pull, pull half, a, half an inch. And then you start to... Uh, to tie this just like that and then you can cut this extra away when you tie is really good like that it won't it won't lose it so just cut that extra away make sure you pull and so now you have one in so nice and neat and then you go on to go to the other side. You go on to do the exact the same consistent. If you do uh, one inch there, you go on to do one inch over here. You do half an inch there, half an inch over here. So it have to be like this everywhere. So then your project come out nice. See this one, half an inch, I'm going to tie. Hold it like here. Go to that. Tie. When you tie, you're going to place your finger in that hole and then you tie. Because if you don't, you're going to tie down the other side. If you want to do one more time, it's up to you. Fine. Just want to make sure. Yes, do another one. Like that. And then cut this extra away. Before you cut, you're going to pull one more time to see if it's loose or not. There. Now you're done. You have very nice and neat look right there. Look at this face mat, everyone. Look how big the room is. So far away from your nose, you will never can tap this um, nose and mouth thing. And look at this. Look how big that is. Go all the way to your ESI. So beautiful. Um, it's good for Christmas and look at the way that I show you with the the picture and everything Just make sure you do that and you never fail Everyone so I finished this face mat look it's so beautiful look so big and it's like when you talk and you breathe it won't touch your nose and mouth And I love the that's under the chin right here. So I'm going to put it on I'm Gonna go over here You can have this string right here go under the, the ear, under your hair if you like, or it can be on the top of your ear just like that. Look, look under here. It's so snug in here. And with the, um, the foil, you can form your nose just like where you want. Look at this, everyone. Look, it's so awesome. Look at the chin. And the Christmas theme, really easy to breathe everyone. Big room, look my nose is all the way back there. I know it's flat but you know, come on. This is excellent mess everyone. I would love to see every one of you, if you follow my channel, please make one. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, I, I also want to say thank you to Bebo that been watching my video and uh, share on um, on your facebook and also i see a lot of people that um look through my old video and my playlist i really really appreciate your help and support to our channel can um so i can continue to do more this is awesome mass everyone look at this so big right here and it's easy to read look like someone just punched my normal mouth this is awesome. Thank you so much, everyone. Please stay safe and take care.